Hey, so I'm so excited to see what this week's news brings. Um, it's always it's 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 always so interesting to speculate, and uh, uh, of course, affects everyone's uh, hoarding and spending strategies when when we find out exactly who is on this week's banner. So <sighs> excited! Um, but before I get into that, I will say, um, and I've been tr- I have I've had to keep a distance from from the comments because I get nervous. I, I don't want any spoilers on the news, but, um, I, I kept getting notifications pop out, pop up and I would have to, uh, like look at them with one eye and, um, try and exit out before I, I saw anything like, you know, spoilery, but, uh, it does seem like there are some other opinions about Scooby-Doo out there. So are the new, the new Scooby-Doo trailer. So I was happy to see that, and I can't wait to to fully be able to to read uh, to read them, and uh, you know a- after doing this video, so uh, so I don't have any spoilers about what's happening this week. Um, anyhow, let's get in. Let's go with this cool look. Okay, scrolling down. Uh, issue report. There has the following compensation has been distributed to the affected players. Where's uh, an issue with the Final Fantasy 3 step up summon? All right, this doesn't apply to me, but if it applies to you, then I suggest you go read this issue report in uh, in depth, and hopefully you got the compensation you deserve. Uh, next, we see oh, and you know what? B- before we even ignore all of that. Let's uh let's look at this one, which came out. So War of the Visions, you can pre-register. Pre-register, it's a very strange thing to me, because they want your they want your email address, they want a birth date, I guess, to find out like you know if you're 18, if you're allowed to register. I don't know, um, but you can do this, and they they're um, obviously setting goals if if. Their pre-registered users reaches two hundred fifty thousand. Will all uh, obtain a, this unpronounceable name? Ishtola, Ishtola, uh, from fourteen. But um, more than that, it's important to note that um, that um, you know who knows who knows what uh. Cool login bonuses and, and and fun stuff we'll be getting for uh, for when this this thing hits. So I'm excited for that. I love free stuff. Um, but I saw that in there and I was excited to note it. All right, maintenance. It's going to be on Wednesday. You can't access the game during maintenance. All right, moving on down. Defiance of Fate Community Challenge Reward. A free Lapis Daily Summon. Oh, I like the sound of this. Uh, all right. So thanks to the hard work, thanks to the hard work of the community, players will be able to perform a free lapis summon once every day to obtain free lapis for the next two weeks. I love it. Uh, all right. I don't usually do so well on this. Um, I've seen the 300 lapis a couple times, um, but mostly I just see the 100 lapis. But Let's not let's not roll our eyes on the hundred lapis. Uh, I will absolutely take that. Mm-hmm. So summon this Thursday through Wednesday the eleventh of March. Ah, that's a nice, nice good chunk of time to um, possibly accrue a lot of lapis, or even at the minimum, right? Like, what are we looking at here? Mm, one and a half weeks worth. Two weeks worth, uh, so could be uh, could be fourteen hundred lapis at the minimum. I don't know, is that right? Tell me if I'm wrong. All right, spring blossom ticket summon. What are you? Uh, players can use a spring blossom ticket to summon two guaranteed four star units. But who really wants four star unit? I'm just kidding. Um, guaranteed means you could possibly get a rainbow there. Plus, you get the one bonus item, which I always love, especially if it comes in the form of a five-star EX or that Temple Fun ticket. That's cool. So, bonus pool includes those things. We just talked about it. 
and the summon period is end of maintenance Thursday through again Wednesday 311. Keep in mind that only permanent units added to the game up into including February 20th will be included in the summon pool. And of course we know that limited time and collaboration units are not included in the summon pool. Alright, so begs question, how do you get a spring blossom ticket? Well, hopefully that's explained. Entry no, not right now. Alright, next, moving up. Introducing the five star guaranteed, ten percent featured ticket for Madame Adele. Madame Adele is this week. Ah, all right. Okay. So this, this is something that was, uh, definitely predicted, but, um, and hoped for, for sure. And I'm excited to see her as well. I'm a little nervous because I want to, pl I, I planned, I, I want to pull for her. Um, and as you can see, my lapis is not exactly where I would love it to be for, for, for doing a major pull, but We'll do all, all the pull that we can possibly do. I still have to do that, uh, finish the revisit quests, and um, I have a ton, ton of bit of story left um, in season two, but I haven't done anything in season three, so I'm okay. Oh, possibly I can cruise some lapis and uh, go for it all. All right, this is great. All right, so those tickets, we know how they work, right? Let's look at Madame's Manor. Madam's Manor, this side quest, which kicked my butt for sure. Jeez, this thing, man, it was rough. Um, ancient runes level four and five. I couldn't get through like level one. Um, I don't know what it was, but it's like I went through this crazy maze. I did all the work, and then I got totally shellacked by like some uh, fire squirrel or something, something dumb. And then I was just mad and sad. So I haven't done any of this. I should probably go do it and and maybe get some rewards along the way, as they like to say. But um, go do these things. You'll get a bunch of stuff. Sectored circles, ancient ruins, more sectored, sectored circles, whatever the, the world those do. No idea. Strange. All right. And then challenge that dungeon, get some rewards, exclusive equipment. Ooh, black magnum. All right. Mm. So then what? Story continues. All right. Also on the prediction list. Story continues. Third season, chapter one, part two. That's going to be available after maintenance. I am going to just rush through this because I don't want to look. Oh, and Asura to star Esper is unlocked. I don't even have one star version of Asura, so um, hey, go check this girl out if you if you want to uh, go for that uh, level two and see how that goes. World revisit quests. All right, so I still haven't done the ones that that are on the books right now. To celebrate the release of season three story quests, revisit the stories that started it all. Uh, I like I like the way that's worded. Earn rewards such as lapis, trust mobile, super sites, and four star guaranteed summon tickets upon clearing the last stage of the dungeon. All right, um, so we know how this works. We, we've seen this with the current uh, World Revisit Quest Part 1. This is going to let us revisit Colobos and Dernado. So I can't see Colobos Isle without thinking of Calabos from The Clash of the Titans and that uh, crazy 80s movie. But, uh, you know. I, it just pops in my head, and I think of Medusa, and I get scarred, because, um, yeah, that, that movie did a number on me. It really, uh, really, uh, wrecked my childhood, but anyhow, Colobos Isle, don't see Medusa, don't look her in the eyes. She's not there. She's not there. It's Colobos Isle, not Calabos, and it's not Medusa. It just, it's, you know, Greek, no Greek mythology going on. Um, but you can visit that aisle and you can visit Jornado during the campaign period and receive various rewards. So ignore everything that I had to say about, um, that dumb movie. All right. Leap year 2020, all rainbow 11 summon. That's going to be 10 K lapis, uh, 11 summon 11 rainbows. Wow. With that refined pool that we all know about. Uh, so only units prior to February 2020. Well, 
February 20th, 2020 will be included. That's a lot of 20s. 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020 will be included in the pool. All right. You got that? But you can do it. You can do that summon if you want to. And here we have Final Fantasy III, Highly Difficult Quest, Goldor Manor Exploration will come available. Uh, this will start on Thursday after maintenance. For, to start a maintenance, oh wow, the following week. One week, you can take on Goldor. He's very gold. His background is gold. He almost kind of blends into his gold background. So try not to lose track of him. The purple cape helps. Um, given Goldor's proficiency in lightning, physical, and magic attacks, it would be especially prudent to increase lightning resistance, defense, and spirit Kupo. He uses abilities that inflict blind silence and confusions to prepare various methods of recovery, such as eye drops, echo herbs, or smelling salts. You lost me at items, Kupo. Finger snap into spell would be equally useful for nullifying his self-strengthening abilities, Kupo. We appreciate your advice, but when you suggest items, you're dead to me. Just kidding. Moogles are never dead to me. Sorry I said that. Ugh. Uh, initial completion reward. Uh, four star trust Moogle on 5%. Uh, what's this? Complete the quest for a gold crystal shard. An accessory with attack defense plus 30. Uh, activate golden light. Restores MP and fills LB gauge every turn. That's kind of cool. Uh, no items. Get some more of that lovely grass. Uh, water resistance plus 20% if you use three or more limit bursts. And defeat Goldor with an Esper for a four star Trust Moogle. All right. Bring these guys along if you think you want to. I always take that with a grain of salt. Alright, um, Adele the Mole tried to pop up in my face, and I ignored Wow! Aw, oh, I really like this Indiana Jones spin. Hmm. I just soaked this up for a second. Give me a second here. Uh, I really like the look of this. Um, and you know, I always figured Adele to be, you know, a treasure hunter. She's certainly, um... She's certainly not the archaeologist uh, that Indy is. And um, side note with Indiana Jones, uh, how many of you know that uh, Temple of Doom was actually a prequel? Right? Some of you are going to be here and be like, uh, yeah, I totally knew that. But if you didn't know that, I totally blew your mind, right? Anyway, it's true. And we can talk about that in the comments if you'd like. Um, but yeah. Story event, Adele the Mole, with an Indiana Jones aesthetic, is sweeping in, and this highly, highly anticipated girl is a woman, I should say. She's absolutely a woman. Um, is is going to be, uh, it's going to be there to, to grab. Um, no, don't, don't just go grabbing women. I'm not telling you to grab women. Um, she's going to be available to summon with your respectable. Uh, summoning tickets and lapis. Ugh. Okay. Event limited unit and equipment and ability waking materials will be involved in the story event. Play the event and obtain a three star unit. Winkle? Winkle? Is there a, a nicer way to say his name? Winkel? Winkel? Ugh, I don't know. I don't like that name. That's a weird name. Clear missions in the story event to obtain his unit specific. Trust me, girls, if we would like to, you should say, hey, come on, get off. Why does it keep blurring up? All right, so this is available Thursday through Wednesday, 3.11. So we've got a couple weeks for the story event, as it usually goes. Uh, our MOG friend said that the bonus stages are going to be harder than ever before, so bring your strongest party and rise to the challenge. Well, all right. Um, and... Pretty much same old, same old as far as story events go, from what I can see. I'm also scanning through this super fast. Uh, here's the limited equipment. Um, Almaz's hat looks a lot like a hat I know and love. Um, and I really love, I'm a big Indiana Jones fan, right? Uh, it's it's true. Um, cat's out of the bag. I know it's, it's shocking, right? With my affinity for 80s. Uh, Superculture, but whatever. Um, his hat 
It doesn't seem to be actually be that good, but um, who knows? Maybe, maybe it looks good to you. Magic plus 15, spirit plus 15, magic plus 10%, and a boost lightning resistance by 10% added on there. So uh, maybe you love it. Craft limited, event limited equipment, uh, like Adele's earrings. Uh, attack plus 30, MP plus 10%. Still, um, you know, could be good for somebody. Maybe not me. So there you go. And try out new... Stop blurring. Man, like my eyes can't take it. Try out new characters. And then, of course, try out these new guys. Winkel. I'm going to say Winkel, because Winkle just doesn't sound very nice. Um, Winkel, uh, Madame Azel, and Elmaz. Uh, get your chance. Get your hands on them. In a um, and then, respectful way. And, all right. Featured summon. Here we're going to see our girl, Madame Adele. All right. So here we have our featured summon, uh, Madame Adele and Almaz. Let's go take a look at their banner. Uh, new units that will be available this Thursday, February 27th through uh, Wednesday, 311. So that's a nice two-week period. All right, available in a step up summon. This is the smallest. This is this is not what I was thinking. It's a short step up, limited to four per player. We have let's see, nine, ten, eleven, twelve k. Yes, I can I can count. Twelve k, twelve k to get the lap. Um, you got uh, a ticket, a ticket, one of those summon tickets on each step. You got uh, six plus one on the first step. 8 plus 1 on the second step, uh, and then a 9 plus 1 plus 1 on the last step with a guaranteed rainbow, but I don't see anything that says it's going to be a guaranteed on banner rainbow. But actually, if we notice at the top, we only need 40 coins to change for a prism, which means, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40. Wow! So just in that 12k step up you can already grab a prism wow and then 80 coins so i guess you do this twice i know it's silly that i just said uh for 24k you'll be able to exchange for for her for the for the girl of the hour uh, madame adele so that's cool that's a nice step up there is no guaranteed rainbow um, so keep that in mind, but, uh, you absolutely, um, if you are lucky in this first 12k, you will be able to grab a prism with the coins that you've accumulated. And if you're not lucky, you can keep going and, uh, you know, get, get another four star ticket. Maybe get lucky there. Anyway, a lot of, a lot of ways, a lot of little like spots along the way, which, you could you could nap her without spending a ton. So that's great. That's especially perfect for me because I only have 12k lapis. I do still have some some story, some world revisit and some story to do. So it's possible I can get up to um, you know more. But right now, hey, I'm good to go. I could absolutely do a full lap on this. That's that's exciting. I like that. All right, cool step up. Um, happy to see that. All right, and here she is. New ally. Doesn't look like she got any boosts, um, but I think she's supposed to be super strong, and that's okay. So her STMR, the Grand Reverie, is some clothes, which will give us an attack 55. That's a bonkers number that I, you know, that's a great number from what I've seen uh, with, uh, with other clothes. And uh, defense plus 10. Activate Frontier Spirit. Nullify stop and boost attack by 30% when equipped with fists. Sweet. That's 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 crazy stat on attack. Wow, nice. And then we have leader of the soiree, boost attack by thirty percent and boost attack by twenty percent when equipped with the gunner first. So also good for her, good for um, you know anybody else that uses a gunner fist. So featured abilities, y'all could read through these. I'm I don't break down units for you. You don't come here for that. Almaz, he's a new ally. He's got glasses, which give us magic plus 35 and activate energy conservation. Reduce MP consumed by abilities by 15%. Um, it's fine. Uh, usually, you know, it seems like anybody that uses magic pretty much has decent uh, MP. 
So that's cool. He's got moves too. You can read them. Um, but this is cool. All right. And these guys will be in the EX and the Temple Spawn Summon Ticket Pools. As well as um, having their prisms added to the select summon pool. Wow. Very fancy. Hmm. I'll take it. Um, all right. Exchange shop for Madame Adele. You can grab that prism and get some trust moogles or whatever. So we all know how that goes and how that works. Ah, oh, wow. That's a pretty cool step up. I'm really happy to see that. That gives people like me um, a chance, right? To make um, make a, a serious uh, attempt at, at this girl and, and maybe walk out with a her held, held high. Um, uh, anyhow. Uh, all right. This is the point in the news video, which I'm going to give you a couple PSAs. Um, all right, so seeing that we knew, we now have a, a new set of World Revisit quests coming, let us all keep in mind that the World Reset Part 1 is only going to be available until Saturday, this Saturday at midnight. So um, if you're like me and you haven't finished it, go finish it. Go get those rewards. Um, go get them in your in your in your pocket or your wallet or, or uh, you know your PO box or uh, some whatever your vault. Go. What am I talking about? Go get all that stuff and hold on to it so you don't miss out on it. Um, the second PSA uh, will just you know we all know this, but the raid event, the current raid event, no no better roses. That will be done um, by maintenance. So if there's any uh, individual rewards or anything that you want to achieve before that guy is up, um, go do it. Uh, secondly, uh, or thirdly, I should say, uh, that Final Fantasy IV, if you have any silver apples left over, go get him to the Mog Minister. He wants your silver apples. Because after maintenance, this this uh, Wednesday night, um you're you know they're gonna be worthless they're gonna be gone they're gonna they're not gonna exist anymore well they'll exist they'll just take be taking up space in your like material slot with which if you're like me is getting kind of bloated um so go spend your silver apples i'm telling you now uh uh after that there's a premium i think 10 plus one ticket which we got at some point. I don't even remember when, because I use those up as, as you know as soon as I get them, and uh, that's going to be expiring at maintenance. So if you have one, go check. Uh, use it now, and there should be a guaranteed special ticket um, that you could have achieved or that you could have uh, grabbed at some point. Um, which, not the one that I currently have to spend, but um, but one before that from probably. Probably that Final Fantasy IV event. There was a couple other special tickets, and you got to use those up because you know what? They're gonna be gone uh, at maintenance. And then, and just to go along with that, if you have any Cecil Palimporum summon tickets, like you know those, you collect four and spend them, or if you have any coins from from summoning on that on that banner, go use those because they will also be gone at maintenance. So. Hope this helped. If anybody was just being a little forgetful, I know I tend to be a little bit forgetful and um, and lose track of, of those kinds of things. So go use them up. Don't get caught in, in that like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot uh, scenario that I usually do. And now let's go use the, the, the three tickets that I do have. Again, we're going to chase, chase Valentine's. We're going to keep chasing Valentine's as long as we can. I have two. Uh, I got one today from the World Revisit, and let's try. We're going to try. We're going to see if there's possibly a way um, to get one of these guys a seven, uh, seven star. Doesn't seem like it's likely, but we don't like to give up on, uh, on love. Mm. All right, Leopold. I actually did really love your story event, but sorry. You are not love. All right, so that was that. We now have, oh, limited time. Uh, this special summon ticket. 
Oh, not that one. This one. All right. Got this one today. Let's see who we get tonight. Boom. Oh, man, I really do love a rainbow. They are quite pretty. Hmm. I don't think I have this guy. Wild Rose Furion. I'm pretty sure I don't. Uh, Empire took everything from me. Are you finding your claim piece too? Then I'll gladly join you. Hmm. Yeah, no. I don't have this guy. Uh, it's a red sword. Hmm. Terrain is kind of a strange mechanic, so I'm not sure I'm too excited about that, but I always take something new. I also wonder uh, if I don't have a couple of his trust moogles in my stash, so we'll have to go look at that. Um, but yeah, okay, now I'm excited because now I actually get go get to read like uh, your full Scooby-Doo comments, uh, school uh, Scooby-Doo reboot comments um, on that last video, and, and then also anything else that anybody had to say about anything. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, all right. So, um, that about wraps it up. I'm, I'm excited. I, I know there's a lot of people that have been excited about Adele for a really long time. And, uh, you probably like, uh, clapped your hands and cheered, like when you, when you saw the news this morning. So super happy for that. And, um, I'm happy to see her there. I'm also super relieved that I'll be able to, um, you know, do something, uh, for this banner, uh, seeing that I only have 12k lapis, I'm going to be able to, I think, accrue a little bit more, but certainly not, you know, a ton. So the fact that I can make my 12k lapis actually do something is, is really cool. Um, and that makes me happy. And I, I, I think, I think this is a great, great banner for everybody. I'd like to see, I'd like to see this in the future. I also think that, you know, they, they've got to know that Adele uh, already had a pretty good following and, you know, it's a bunch of people saving for her. So I really like to see a generous banner um, attached to a popular unit. I know we saw a generous banner last week for Onion Knight, but um, I had to had to imagine and and got the feedback from a lot of other players as well that um, that they maybe didn't see it, uh, as being very lucrative. Um, so it's nice to see them attach a generous banner to what they can only assume would have been a lucrative unit. So, uh, I like that. That makes me happy to see. And, um, let me know, uh, are you going to be putting your lapis to good use for the Dell? I, I certainly am. I've already said that. And that probably means that I should bring this conversation to a close. If you want to talk more about how um, Indiana Jones Temple of Doom is a, a prequel, I'm happy to engage you in the comments. I have only known this for a couple years, so I shouldn't sound very haughty talking about it now. But um, I just I, it, it blew my mind, and I'm happy to blow your mind as well. Um, I would suggest, if anything, you go watch an Indiana Jones film, and and not not the 1980s. Clash of the Titans, because I don't want to wreck your life. Man, that movie wrecked my life. But um, if you want to go see it, then uh, just keep your lights on tonight. No, it probably you probably won't like need to, because it'll be like so outdated that I, it won't possibly freak you out. But man, it really freaked me out. All right. I've said too much as usual, so let's put this to rest. How come I can never wrap up a wrap wrap things up um, uh, with with any amount of dignity? All right, deep breath. Probably take a sip. Good night and cheers. Totally dignified, right? Totally.